G'day guys, welcome back to the channel. Today is going to be a short one, uh, just to let you guys know what I'm working on. Uh, I'm working on a video uh, about white shark movements and populations that take place here in Australia. The, the interest with this is obviously uh, with the recent shark attacks in South Australia, but also that I'm interested to find, uh, especially in South Australia, uh, as from at the moment or what they've told us, there's no actually location found for great white shark nurseries in South Australia and I think Western Australia, Eastern side, they do know. But uh, for me, I've got a bit of a, uh, a feeling where I, I think I know where one is. Um, that'll be the Upper Spencer Gulf. And the reason behind that is that um, for, for a long time now, I've always heard and and reports, and even with the uh, shack of the shark that was brought in back in 2004, 2005, that there's large population of la um, large uh, female white sharks that are seen up in the Spencer Gulf. And only recently, a few weeks ago, that uh, a large female was spotted just on the, uh, the mouth out of uh, the port, uh, the Piri River as well. So it's just got me interested to know why these large females come all the way up to the Upper Spencer Gulf. When their normal food sources down south with the seals and sea lions. Up here there is some food, like we've got large schools of uh, snapper, but uh, it, it's just always puzzled me why these very large sharks are seen up here. So I did see a documentary once before about, they talked about female sharks go back to the place they were birthed and have their pups and the cycle continues to go on. So it kind of makes me think maybe uh, the Upper Spencer Gulf could be a, uh, a great white shark nursery. So, so what I'm gonna be looking at, I'll put these couple links into some uh, fact sheets of Australian great white sharks. And it's in interesting to know that there's actually two uh, populations, the Eastern one, which um, is the East Coast all the way up to to uh, Queensland, all the way down to the eastern side of Tasmania, reaching out all the way over to New Zealand. And then we've got the southern western uh, population of great whites that uh, uh, from uh, Victoria, South Australia, Western Australia, all the way up to warmer waters. And they do note that uh, some of these sharks actually do migrate over to South Africa. Another interesting story I found as well is that the eastern great white sharks have even been trapped all the way up to Papua New Guinea, which is crazy. I, I would not even have thought they would go up there because that's uh, tropical waters up there. So, um, but yeah, um, at the moment they don't really know what the actual populations are. But this, I guess, this is the estimate. Adults around about 750 in the eastern side, uh, and a total of 5,460. So, um, adults in the southern western is nearly. Uh, 1500 but the total is not determined yet because uh, in the eastern states they do track and tag white sharks where in South Australia they don't really do that so uh, for them to actually uh, keep a record on how many white sharks in these waters as well um, uh, this is it goes on um, about the Queensland. White sharks occur from central Queensland close around the south coast of Australia to the northern west coast of Western Australia. Uh, so these are some of the um, devices that they track the sharks in the eastern states. So, yeah, there's a fair few document, not documentaries, but uh, papers in Australia about the, the two populations of Australian population of white sharks as well. So, um, I'm going to be diving into this and um, doing a bit of research as well and uh, hopefully next weekend when I'm off work, off roster, I can uh, uh, do a, a, a deep dive into these uh, great white shark populations in Australia as well. Uh, <coughs> yeah, so uh, that's it for this video. Uh, thanks for tuning in and uh, hopefully I'll see you in the next video.